All right, well, are we all ready to start this? Proceed. <laughs> I got Nordic. <laughs> You're a bitch. I got... Did you see a monkey with a samurai sword? That's unusual. I got Polonia, which is the one that pick up to two options per encounter. I got Crimea. So once per turn, I can spend a combat card as if it was a resource. Oh, screw you. I BS. With the uh, secret objectives, do you get a star for achieving those, or what do you get? Yes, you, you get a secret objective for completing one of your two secret objectives. Once Am you I complete one, the other one doesn't matter. Oh, I'm like the Asian unit in Eastern Europe. Was Togawa in the original? No, it's expansion. Togawa might be expansion. Right. Actually, that one's backstory is really great, too. I enjoyed that. After moving your character, you may place an armed trap token on its territory. I don't like the direction that's going. Wait, is it my turn or whose turn? How do I know whose turn it is? Uh, it's my turn, but for some reason I can't get my... Get, can't click the move action, which I kind of need. Uh, it says players are still loading, so that might be part of it. Oh. Sorry, I'm still reading what the heck I'm doing here, okay? It's because you're slow. We understand, Phil. I took the short bus. It was your idea to play this game. Alright, my friends aren't going to be pudding by the end of this game. Let's just play nice, okay? Mm, no. Yeah, pass. I don't want to play nice. It's overrated. So that's upgrade. Yeah, it, it said it was my turn, but I literally cannot do anything. I'm Players all but certain it's because Crimea hasn't loaded in yet. Okay, there we go. Now you should be able to do things as I see timers in the upper right. So who is Crimea? Uh, I'm presuming Phil. Unbelievable. <laughs> Why are you? I don't know, I believe no. it. No, I, I, I believe my reaction was uh, completely appropriate. Okay, so I can only do one action. Cool. I can do two, but... The bottom one requires you to spend oil if you were doing a move. Or sorry, not mo uh, oil food. Sorry. So if you're done, you'll want to... Okay, yeah, you did. Crimea. I already ended my turn. Yep, I see that. Crimea is going. Sorry, I have to be fairly vigilant because I have to go no. and scroll around the board when people's turns end so that we can see what you're doing. Oh, okay, so I can't zoom in and out. That's kind of nice. Yep. You can zoom in and out. You can drag your mouse around. What did Tagawa do? Where is Tagawa? Tagawa's in the lower right. Uh, they moved two pieces. I have Crimea in the lower right. Oh, I so thought. it must it must be rotating. Crimea's at the bottom for me. Same here. You should go to the left, away from me, towards all that open land. And that doesn't appear to be the direction he, that Phil wants to go with this. See, he's a jerk. It's fine words. My turn, all right. What color are you, Braden? I'm red. Okay. So for me, you're off the left. 
Yeah, that wouldn't especially shock me. Oh, you've got bears. You all right, bears? No, my workers sure don't. Okay. <laughs> it is the green button problem. <laughs> it does, which I do not care for. I mean, how hard is it to realize there is a button to continue with the bottom right hand side? That's pretty standard, fellas. You're pretty standard. When you can't perform the action, it should just automatically kick you through your turn. Yeah, but what if you want to change your mind? Let's see here. And welcome, Trident. Hey, Trident. Nordic. He is also away from the other players who want to cause trouble. That is that's no some bullshit. I I have no problem with this. I need. They knew that I was gonna need an edge. They saw me struggling before. Okay, so you produced resources on your first turn. Interesting. Maybe. And we can see them. Tagawa's oh, also doing resources. What's Crimea up to? What's their angle? Crimea's Phil, right? Yes. He's just plotting the murders. Yeah, he kind of does look that way. Now I saw, at least in a tutorial, <laughs> where eventually if you get your population up and stuff like that, it starts costing you money and, and food and stuff just to keep them working, right? Correct. So, if you look on your production button above it there's the little meat row of meeples uh-huh the more villagers you produce those go away and it starts charging you first military power because you're forcing them to produce then it okay. <laughs> then it takes military power and popularity because they're unhappy that you're forcing them so they're losing faith in your regime and then you have to start paying them for bribes to keep working. Hey, Phil, remember a moment ago when you said it wasn't a complex game and it was easy to pick up? I did. <laughs> this I'll is why you're not a teacher. <laughs> Ooh. That, that's some nice hot tea being spilled over uh, there. How do I throw my throat with me? Uh, when you are doing the move action, when you click on a meeple, the box kind of in the lower right will have li uh, resources and arrows next to them so you can pick them up and move them. Uh, so I selected move. And then you click on your meeple. Oh, I see. Yep. yep. I got it. I got it. Move. Or you can drag and drop them. Yep. I got it. I got it. Oop. Oh, you drag and drop. That makes it easy. Uh, let's see here. And let's get you. There we go. Produce extra workers. Uh, to produce extra workers, you have to do a produce action while your workers are on a village. As village. denoted by the red hexagons. Village. The red oh, hexagon with a meeple correct. person. You're literally right next to one. Oh. Well, you're next to one that's also not next to Phil. I, I stand by my earlier statement. No, that, that tracks. I understand. There's no river there. I can't get to you. Until you build a mech. Don't tell him that. I, I'll tell him what I want. 
Because you're a lion whore. I think everyone should kill Phil. I'm, I'm, I'm on board with this plan. Isn't that the Solid point? plan? Kill Phil and then worry about other options later? I mean, it, that's your hero, just for reference, not one of your workers. Though I can see you're probably trying to set it up to intercept Phil's bullshit later. Okay, why won't you bring up the transport window? There we go. I moved pieces. I see that. Yeah, I feel like I have definitely the fish out of water in this map. And I hate the fact that's almost a pun because my sign is apparently Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Poland, Soviets, Nords, monkey with the katana. What? You're the monkey king. Oh, leave me alone, Phil. You have an entire freaking map. Go get him, Phil. Start some shit. He's trying to get an encounter. going on with him right now he went to a space that had an encounter which are the little yellow circles at the bottom of tiles what if you go there with your hero you, you get, get a card the and then you get to pick one of the options you can see it if you look over on screen no it shows me what he oh it, okay so he has to pick one of those three things Bull crap! I would not teach him how to fight with a katana. <laughs> Those are Togawa secrets. Who? The problem is that's a real spicy card. evidenced by the fact that he's really putting some time in thinking about which way he wants to go. Whatever Phil chooses, I'm sure it'll be evil. I mean, the moment he can go over the river, he's gonna steamroll me. Because those are some serious power jumps. Yeah, that's, that's not good. These are all very good picks. Well, he chose something. That's a good question. I can't tell what he picked. What did you pick, Phil? Sorry. I picked, uh, learn to uh, use the katana, so I paid two gold for two power and two cards. Okay, that's what I thought you picked, but I wanted to be sure I was correct. get each adventure square once or yeah correct so that's, that's the place where nords can jump out early because he could just cross the river and get a bunch of adventure cards before any of us can reach him okay no i don't think his hero can cross the river his workers can yeah. correct but that's still really good for getting the resources you need to jump out ahead Ah, damn it, it's my turn. Okay, let's see here. True, true. Callahan is pooping out workers and getting some trees. Trees! Oh, you need a worker on the village to produce another worker. I guess that makes sense. Yep. 
It's it's your turn there, uh, Shane. Yeah, I'm aware. I think you're. Yeah. Okay. You know what I need. Yeah, of all of us, I think I might be the one who is boned. I have nowhere well, I can go. That's just you're bad at playing games, Brady. That's been your weakness from the beginning. And clearly, so, it has nothing to do with the fact. Building an army on my border, I think. Uh... Yeah, I'm not excited about that either. This whole How? only having access to three hexes is kind of bullshit. Why can't I move? Because you did last turn. Correct. You can't perform the same action two turns in a row. Hey, this game is simple. Don't worry about it. You'll pick it up at some time. <laughs> right? <laughs> I... How am I the murder hobo? Natural I'm... practice? <laughs> Tell the truth. My friend... hobo. My friends told me they would never call me to kill somebody. They would call me to hide the body. I've reduced resources because it's literally the only thing I could do then. Oh boy, Crimea's turn. Crimea is the worst. The only literal good thing about their setup is that they also only have three hexes. Oh, I see. Yeah, the Nords have it easy. Unfortunately, the problem is they have access to steel. Which is eventually going to be a problem. You're the problem. Uh, steel is how you get mechs and the ability to cross the river. You're a problem. And possibly a warmonger. Sorry, forgot the green button. Oh, you. How can we actually see what our combat cards are? Uh, they're listed in the lower right corner. They tell you the value that they add and how many you have left of them. Look at it moving its stuff under the adventure square like a chump. Alright. Well, that's not bad. Really? You can Although he gets to just buy an upgrade. And you had that option too, Phil. Upgrade. I agree, Trident. Phil is very rude. Upgrade is the way to go here. Alright, what do I want? So I think it is safe for me to come out of uh, hiding and actually leave my mic open. Hello, hey, everybody. Evening. Stay away from my river. I will only fire random shots across the river. Not aiming at your workers, just shooting over the river. Okay, so, so you can just uh, sit down and entertain the troop with a gracious assembly, correct? Just remember, Phil, you could have left me in my corner just being ineffective, but instead you decided to encourage me to take us both down in a fireball. This was that moment. This you is have when you could have straight, prevented that. You have a straight run to the factory that doesn't require you getting off the river. Nope. Or getting over we'll let talk, talk you out of your plan there, Shane. You go straight for his jugular.
someone still making a decision on the card? Yeah, I had, uh, I'm the nation that gets two benefits off of the encounters. Oh! Oh, uh, yeah. that's no good. That feels really bad. I don't bad. like that at all. So, if you want to see what your mechs will do, um, you can, in the upper left-hand corner, the mechs, the little mech button, will pull up what each of your mechs will do for you when you buy that one mech. So. Sorry. While I did learn the basics of the game last night, Oh, so I don't even... Wow. If I'm reading this right, I don't even get to use my faction's ability until I have a fully upgraded mech. That makes it weird. If I have a fully upgraded mech, I can leave traps behind when I move my hero... when I move my characters. Your hero already exists as a character. Yeah, so your, your hero should be the one that can do that, that leaves traps behind. I haven't seen an option up to this point. Hmm. Oh, I do oh this wrong. one's hilarious. Cut down the tree to <laughs> the end of innocence. <laughs> Thinking about it. Although that pay two to gain free popularity is pretty, uh... No, the children must blur. Eighteen popularity? Nah, I'm gonna get that one. <laughs> yeah, if, if you make it up to eighteen popularity, that's good for a star. I'll have the list up on my screen here of ways you yeah, can get those. Also, I will mention, the higher you are on that popularity track does increase the multiplier for the points you get at the end of the game yes for your score oh i see so it's where's where's the multiplier track uh if um, you go to the one next to the star for score calculation you can see that oh uh, it's it's behind the card right now i can't okay it's all right uh, let's see here uh i'm gonna go this way i think When do you choose? I chose the popularity for money. Nice. That was a good choice. That's a really hard card, too. Oh, yeah. Observing. It's going down. You do see Old Man Callahan on camera. We did it. That's right. I got, and I'm pretty, the whole, all of this. Including the white hair. It's only a little white hair. Uh, I'm, uh... I'm what's known as the Silver Fox. <laughs> I have heard some bold lies in my time, old man Keller. <laughs> wow! Silver Fox. I can't help but to think that that cow is screwed, considering the bear's looking at it with a lot of interest. I don't see a cow. Let's see. Humbly take orders from your superior officer. That doesn't sound like me. Why is it you? Give the village a ride home on your horse. Possibly. Threat to decree an avalanche. Ooh, threat to decree an avalanche with your bazooka. That does kind of sound like me. Plus, it One gives you a free recruit. We're too popular. Are recruits different than workers? Uh, yeah, the recruits um, are on the... So on the bottom of your player mat, the recruits... Anytime I... 
anybody takes so if you so for example on my upgrade option it's the military or the military power um, whenever anybody to my immediate left and right takes the upgrade action I would get one military power so it's like you start accumulating free stuff. So that's a pretty good one, too. Looks like he took it. Yes, I started an avalanche with my bazooka. Now you threatened to start an avalanche with your bazooka. Threatened? You did not, too. Look, there are... Look, I, when I make a threat, I follow through. Exactly. What's the point of the threat otherwise? You have to show if you were serious. He's right, you know. I mean, yeah, I killed my horse out from under me along with the peasant, but I believe the point was made. This is all accurate. Alright, so what's Crimea up to? Crying. I love the fact one of my odd objectives is establish a human shield. I should go find out what that's about. Oh yeah, I should actually look at what my objectives <laughs> actually are. Thank you, Observing. It's good to know so you understand me. And welcome. <laughs> how do I get my hero across water? You oh, gotta oh get fuck me. That was river both walk kind of psych. So go to your get the river walk ability? How do I do that? So you, when you build a mech, you can select that as one of your mech abilities, or your workers can just walk across it normally. Question. So I remember in the first game we had issue with me getting screwed by this. Is it your hero who has to get to the factory or a worker? I I don't recall, but I bet if I hover over the factory, I can find out. Let's see. So I remember last time I got there first was with the wrong unit, so I didn't get anything. Right, I remember that. Uh, factory. Course, when your been... character is on the factory tile, so it has to be your hero. Okay. Of course, Phil's gonna make me give that to the Nords, because he's gonna go ahead and grab a mech now. And, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a it's, little bastard. It's Steph not good. Instead of having all that space over there to expand, he's just going to go to war with me right off the bat. Shame. Why... Why are you assuming I am just going to attack you, sir? Because you move directly at, at me and then start recruiting military units. Because they're freaking... I was going to say, Crimea is building a pretty strong military. I don't the Germans think... are moving to the Polish border. I'm sure it's fine. It's, it's fine. Because it's what you did last time. Well in the end. <laughs> it's because they're wicked! <laughs> and it's accurate. So, where do you see combat cards? Because apparently I have four of them, but I haven't figured out where I can. Lower use right. Them. You use them when you go into combat. They just add a numeric value to what you are wagering. Oh. So oh. it has the power value of two, three, four, and five. And then to the left of that in yellow, there is a number. That is how many of those cards you have. I assume higher the number, the better. The higher, it's basically free military power, so you don't have to use your own military power in combat. Gotcha. Oh, I'm quite happy with that, then. Yeah, you Yeah, come it. on, bring it, you bastard. I warned you to go the <laughs> other way. Suddenly I'm feeling pretty... Wait, can we use more than one a turn? I want to know this before I trash talk. No, one a turn. Damn it. Oh, there was no way you could come into my lands. <laughs> Polania, whose house sigil was a werewolf. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think it's a werebear. No, no, werebears are cooler. We're gonna go with werewolf. A were gerbil? Yeah, all the gerbils, all the time. Braden, you're upgrading. What did you upgrade? Uh, I'll tell you when I'm done upgrading. Okay. That sounds like fat words. That's an engine building. Alright, I am upgrading my move action and 
decreasing the cost for my enlist action. Hey, what do you get out of uh, upgrading your moves? I can move uh, three spaces instead oh, of two. Nice. You can move. Well, no, you can move three people one space. Right. Well, no, I know what he meant. Well, let's see here. Oh, I'm, I can move the last one for you then. Okay. So I guess I'll do this. I have quite a few people that are uh, in that area, so. Oh, dang, sir. What's up? That's a force. Yeah, he's building uh, peeps. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. Yeah, now it creates military power to produce. Have fun with that. Beat your people into working. Ooh, that was a lightning strike. I just said, but oh, is it only military power he requires at five? Is I that, think yes. so. Yeah, that's not how bad. Do get, how do I get more military power, though? That's uh, probably important. There is an action that can give it to you. There it is. Oh, bolster right there. Yep. Yep. And how much do I start with? Eh. Not the greatest. All right. I have a plan. So I just produced resources and got a new villager as a result, because that's all I can do. Fair enough. Yeah, I went the wrong way on this. That's okay. Like, my plan was a very loose one, understanding the rules of the game, so now this is gonna, this is gonna suck. Alright. I don't know, I don't think you're in that terrible a spot, all things considered. No, it's just not the way that I wanted it to go. Oh, jeez. Really? What? You know what you did. I did nothing of the sort. What, what did he do? Filled it a bolster. Why would my mech's last special ability be to arm the traps if my hero can already set them? That doesn't seem like a smart ability. I don't fully understand uh, the Tokawa. Uh, we've only played this a few times, so... I'm gonna say, I don't understand how they operate fully either, to be perfectly honest. I mean, the setting trap sounds scary, but I haven't seen it come up as an option, and it's really reading like I need a fully upgraded mech to actually use it. It's possible. Which would make it stupid. Alright, well, Phil bolstered, or sorry, Phil bolstered and enlisted a recruit, so that's great. Yep. So now anytime Shane or Brayden upgrades, I get military power. Why is that? Because, because he enlisted a recruit, so he gets the benefit for that. Oh, nice. Okay. Not that I'm an evil jerk or anything, but... Yeah, I don't believe you. Alright. Nothing I could have done to stop it, so... No, none of it us are really in to roll over me. The game was over for me before it started. I have not decided that yet. I mean, I'm strongly considering it, but I have not decided that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should both try to kill each other. Do it to the death. 
to buy amusement. Where do I want this? I mean, if I could set traps, it would be a little bit better of a chance, but... Probably there. How the heck is it going to give me upgrade stuff? Alright, so I produced resources and built a mech. Hey, see, those are fighting words. You're yelling at me, and yet you just did it. Too. I built a mech because I don't have access to steel or oil. Oh, hey, it's my turn. Uh, you know, see here. You, you could have built a mine and got over that way. What do you need food for? I don't have any wood to do that. Well, you have a wood territory in your... Hex We're territory. getting there. It was faster to produce two steel than four wood. Apparently that had something to do with how Phil got a bonus. Which one were you inquiring about? Food. Oh, yeah, the food is uh, what was used to enlist a recruit. Which gives you a bonus when one of your immediate left or right neighbors takes a bottom row action. A specific one. It also gives you a slight bonus as well for enlisting the recruit as a one-time perk. Yep. See, now, this is the first time I've played as anybody but Saxony. Goa, you should go r just run for the uh, factory. I think you can make it. I think you should kill Phil. I mean, I get it, but I have this overwhelming suspicion if I move my hero that way, you're just gonna come in over the border. Shane, the I did not build my river walk, so I can't move out of here yet. What did you build then? The Wayfair one. So I can move from a territory or home base to your home base or that of any inactive, inactive faction. Yeah, that's that's not better. I, I figured it was safer for Shane because I can't get across the river to him. Except you can, question mark? I can't go to his base. Because it's, it's active. He's playing that. I can only go to Russia, Saxony, and Albion. Yeah, that doesn't make me feel better. Why not? It's much safer. It's not. Why? Because that literally parks you in either mine or Callahan's backyard. Yeah, stay out of my backyard. Stay off my lawn. Come on, Grandpa, calm it down. <laughs> yeah, I have... Let's see... I am glad to hear that there are fewer helicopters and sirens observing. Were you in the thick of it observing? I have no idea where you were at. Up there. He's in Minneapolis, so yes. I, don't, I honestly haven't seen a map of how much it... I have a friend in... I think he's in southern St. Paul. Don't know exactly where he's at in the Twin Cities, so. But yeah, he's up there too, and he was talking about it, so. Let's see. Ah, that's the one I want. Hmm. So I bought a mech. The oh. one that allows me to play extra combat cards when I'm the one being attacked. Nice. That's not a bad call. And I moved. So now I can use those multiple good combat cards I have. Now I feel better. Now you should attack Phil to celebrate. 
You have established an effective precedent for threats and promises. Or, in Soviet Russia, red forks you! We could make an alliance to claim the Milk Harbor map for ourselves. Whoa, did he just... He just did he? warp? Yeah. Like teleporter shit. Oh. Oh, he's going to get those adventure bonuses. Yeah. What just happened? What did I miss? Phil warped himself I to would... places. <laughs> I've never. Nicely done. I don't believe you. Yeah, he picked the mech ability that lets him do that. I don't like it when Phil can do stuff. Agreed. It's not ideal. I do it better than you. He says at the game that only he has played. No, no. You're the only one out. Odd one out. Uh, we played a live game of this, and then I played one game that I got my ass handed to me by the computer. Now, the hero's the only one that can do the encounters, not the mechs, correct? Correct. Okay. And not to uh, minimize everything that's going on, but with chat, but it does seem oddly appropriate we were talking about helicopters and major protests as we were playing Scythe. Also, do we confirm that's the hero who has to claim the factory? Because I really need yes. a chamber. Okay. Yes. If you hover your mouse over or the mouse over the actual factory square, it'll tell you. So last time it was basically I got a worker there and couldn't do anything except have someone take my worker. Correct. Oh, I can take other people's workers? If they're unguarded? Yes. I don't know if they convert or you kill them, but yeah, something happens. You get Dude, access to their resources. This is all necessary information. I thought I was just, that I'm just making a population base for the rest of you. That sucks. So I mean, You're well, far enough away, you're in pretty good shape. Your military units, your hero can defend them. And when you build mechs using iron, those are military units that can also defend them. Yeah. Okay. So, what's Ooh. that? And I accidentally put down a trap last turn, so... Callahan. I still don't understand why I do it then and not other times, but whatever. Um. So, Callahan, your people don't, they don't steal your people. They kick your people back to your starting base. So your anchor up there in the north. Oh, okay. So when they, like if Shane moved his hero into a zone with your only your workers your workers go back to your base but the resources stay where they the resources are resources stay got it okay that's actually not as bad that's a pretty reasonable um setup right. thunder stupid werewolves all right so, let's see here what'd you do Brayden? i produced uh two steel by doing the trade action Oh, okay. I did not perform the upgrade action. Okay. So, for my birthday, I may have gotten a $60 Amazon gift card. Needless to say, it's already spent. Yeah, that sounds right with our group. Yeah. I may have got a game that will go immediately to long form games, or a long form game. Or be put on that list. So. Boy, timing this out so you're on the resources you want when you hit produce is really freaking annoying. Uh huh. It is. It is a giant pain in the ass. So is the bolster. Let's see. Observing? Yes, you can ask. I got Gaia Project. Uh, so Bolster, you'd pay a coin to either get military power or a combat card. Is that permanent Bolster or temporary Bolster? It, add, it adds it to your stash. Okay. Good move, sir. I like it. God, I am not excited for when Phil decides he wants to hit the warpath. <laughs> I mean, in retrospect, that was actually a bad move because I didn't get to do what I wanted to do. But the north turn, south turn thing is still throwing me off. 
this game just keeps going until somebody hits six stars, right? Correct. You yeah. know, Phil, I'm just going to float this out there as a corrupt overlord. If we could actually trust each other for an hour, that would be a pretty terrifying alliance if we didn't have to worry about us backstabbing one another. It'll Shame. never happen. You should just fight to the death. Shame. I've been telling you this from the beginning. I am not directly going after you. As you were basic forces on my border, you could understand why I was but nervous. I'm not directly going after you. Oh, I know that I know that that, but I can respect the espionage game. By the way, be right back. I oh. am very, I am very excited to uh, play this. I have not played it. But it looks amazing. It's got a good solo mode, and um, yeah, I, I'm a little nervous because it's kind of like uh, size here, where it is in depth. It is a finicky game that you got to think from the beginning of the game to the end about what you're doing. So, but I have high hopes. And considering I'll probably never play Twilight Imperium, I figure this would run a close second. See, now, that... Oh, How do you get more money in this game? You there... can, under the move action, you can choose instead of moving to get coins. What did that last mech of yours just do for you? Uh, speed. Add one hex tile per move. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay. That feels really bad. Again, I'm not looking for war, but I will oblige you if you come over here. Why is everybody saying I'm a warmonger? I am not because you literally warped yourself into warmonger. mine and Callahan's backyards. That is not your backyard. I don't see it surrounded by white or blue. That is it doesn't have here. to be surrounded by white or blue. It's all mine. Every square on here is mine. Guys, what he's saying is those aren't offensive tanks, they're defensive tanks. They're lost. I, see. I don't believe him. That's what they are. They're lost. We're looking for our way home. <laughs> How did he end up all the way up there again? He My used one of his going. mech abilities that we don't have access to. Gotcha. Because I can't build mechs to do that. No, oh, and he's just gonna he's just gonna grab the rest of those those adventures. I get it. That, that sucks. That is his I plan. I produced some resources and got an extra villager. Encounter tokens over there by the food. I know. Can Mex can Mex it, trigger the encounter token or not? No. Okay. It's uh, it's separated from me by a river, so. gonna go get that encounter token pull in yeah i think i am you already have access to one over there i know i was hoping to swoop in and grab those from both of you but i didn't know he could warp his his guy like that that sucks that's why i took the speed buff yeah I figured. good move good move
Can I terrify as a real joke of people to see two military units with six villagers? I think, how the hell did you get that much of either? I love these pictures, though. The mech units with you controlling the bear around the shepherd with the sheep. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah, I figure. Dang. Wait, did you just get a free structure? No. no. He got a buttload of popularity and power. Mostly power. Wow, for some reason, threatening to start an avalanche with a bazooka makes you really unpopular. <laughs> yeah. Huh, who would have thunk it? Right? Did you forget a green button? No, I'm trying to decide what I want to, where I want my recruit to go. Oh. Yeah, I think the yard's one of the best parts of this game, Trident. It just yeah. really captures a nice feel. Heather has expressly said she doesn't necessarily want the game, she wants the art book for the game. Valid. So. It is completely fair. Ooh. Oh. What was that one? Coins uh, for mech? Uh, yeah. Coins for when my neighbors build mechs. We have a Callahan back because it is his turn. No idea. It looks like he's there. I can see him on camera. I mean, it just passed to me I, though. I, so. for, I forgot to un unmute the the thing. Yeah, sorry. Oh, oh you're good. Hmm. Can you upgrade oh, to move more man. than two units at a time? Heard. You, yeah, can, you, can you can upgrade to three. And then you should have a mech that will let you move up to uh, two squares instead of just one. Your mechs can also move your workers. You can pack your workers into mechs and move them into mech. I just realized I was supposed to prepare a meeting for some team tomorrow. That's all right. I got time to do it tonight. <laughs> is workers going to mech count as a move? Is no. They are not workers going in the mech does not count as a move. Moving the mech once they're in there does. Is it looks I'm trying to get them to go to the mech, but it doesn't look like they're going to. And you've selected the move action and you've clicked on the mech, correct? I have. Okay, then in the no, lower way. They would not let me carry them. You have to put them into the mech when you... There's in the lower right rectangle that comes up when you click on the mech, there's an option to add the workers in there like you would resources. It didn't come up. Weird. Hmm. So that was a wasted move. Okay. So, nope, I could not transport my workers. Oh, 
Oh, that blows. A little bit. Because that makes him completely useless the next turn. Just screw up and ah. Hey, Amish. Apparently, Phil's upset right now, so good timing. Hey, Amish. Welcome. Hello. Did you get a good nap in? Just so you know, um. I am yellow. Uh, Braden is the white. Colin. Uh, Callahan is the blue Nordic. And uh, Shane is the cheese. Um, so apparently, uh, apparently I'm correct for this group. Their special thing: you have to have a fully upgraded mech to arm the tracks you set, which uh... makes it a really stupid faction upgrade. That is dumb. What do the traps even do? Uh, looks like they take away points to people. They take away stuff for people who move into them. Like one that looks like costs you two coins. One yeah. costs you one power. I mean, they're decent traps, but they're not game breaking for the amount of tech you have to do just to arm them. Because you have can, to move, you... place them, and you have to move the second unit and place them. Can you take both a top row and a bottom row action? If, uh, you have the re if you have the resources, yes. We have to do the top action first. Correct. Okay. So you can only do the bottom action if you take the top action. Yeah, it's got to be immediately... The bottom row action you take has to be immediately under the top action you take. Oh, I see. So I, ha I got you. Thanks, Amish. We did work that pretty damn well today. Kind of help that inbound is actually working too. Let's see, we were there for six hours and I think we accomplished. What? Pretty much a normal day's work. So, six and a half. Only tonight. Yeah, about right. I'll catch shit from you tomorrow, so. <laughs> God, I did that. It says to, uh, so I'm trying to do my upgrade, but I don't know how to complete this. When you do the upgrade... Oh, I have to choose this. Yeah, you gotta pay the resources in first. Got it. And let's see here. <laughs> I, I, I am pleased by Trident's reticence to praise the feel. But hard work is always well appreciated, so I can definitely appreciate where Amish is coming from. I mean, What's that like was so hard work. What were you saying, Callahan? So I, I selected something, and it's lit up, but I don't know how to make it actually do what I want. Is so, in the lower right a uh, confirm button? And you do need to no. pick across the bottom one, too. You did an upgrade, correct? Right. You're upgrading something in the top row, something in the yeah, bottom I row. Yeah, upgrade my production. Okay, so you upgrade that. You click on the little square for the production. You pick something to upgrade in the bottom row, and then you claim your one-time bonus along the left-hand side of the screen. It has to be an upgrade in the bottom row. You do both. 
Oh, okay. Okay. That sounds amazing, sir. That actually does sound really good. Well, well now you're just being mean. You know what I had? I had two leftover hot dogs. That's it. That was wow. my dinner. You really need to plan better, Callahan. Yeah. See, this is where I'm upset, because this will be my production turn, but since I couldn't move my two meatballs, I can't produce any wood. So it makes that kind of pointless. You could do uh, the trade action to produce wood. Oh, yes. Oh, I am now looking forward to lunch. That's a lot of wood. Sure is. You had me till the mushrooms. That's right, you have that weird thing where you don't like mushrooms. Yep. That is weird. You're not normal. You're a freak. I mean, all of, all of the I'm above. Okay with all those accusations. What's Crimea up to? He's a pain. And accurate. Really? Yeah. Everyone has what four types of mechs or four different actions or mechs? Four different action upgrades that their mechs can unlock as you build them. I have powers. They do not appear to be the same. Nope, they're all. Like also, not only do I need a mech to use by traps, I lose an upgrade other people have because one of my mechs is needed just for that. I'm That's... gonna double down on this is a stupid faction to have. Brayden, what are you up to? One of they lost. Bring a katana to a mech fight. I'm looking to see what I'm able to do. I agree with you. Much canned mushrooms do suck. First, I'm a huge mushroom soup fan, and morels are just the best thing ever. I've never actually had a morel. What? What? How do you live in Iowa and? I don't How? Like mushrooms. Today was a bumper crop year, so if you wanted one, you should have just asked. No, he'll say they're a funny texture. But or in that case, a texture. I I will take morels from you. I know how to deep like, fat fry uh, those. I like gold chanterelles, and the thing that I like most about them is that uh, aside from the natural insecticides that are in them so they don't have bugs, but they come back in the same <laughs> spot every year, so once you know where they're at, you can you just go them. back and pick them. Yeah. Hey, Bielz, buddy. Yeah, I've heard Chicken of the Woods is amazing. You gathered I've a bunch of that last year, didn't you? I have never found one. The only really lucky find that I ever found out there was like, uh, I found a, a whole bunch of velvet stem that was just covering the inside of a, the, the tr a tree spark. You back off, you. And who is that in reference to? Considering that could apply to anybody in the spirit game or our group? 
Uh, just, uh, Braid turn, so Braid. Ah, uh, that sounds right. Unless you're gonna attack Phil, in which case more power to you. That's... that's infuriating that that's not considered a river. What? Oh, my the, my southern border. You, well, you can like cross to certain terrain types. So you can, I think, like I can only cross rivers at farm and tundra. How do you check that? So go to your max. And then go to River Walk. Hey, I don't know where my mechs are. Upper left hand corner. That, that yeah. looks right. All right. And then oh, the villages or mountains. Got it. Okay. okay. Yep. I'm on. Okay. All right. Well, that's obnoxious, but a necessary evil for what has to be done this turn. Um. Yeah, I think I have to end my move there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you just recruit somebody? Yes. Hand is up. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I hear your pain there, Thomas. What's that double light thing? Is that him boosting? Oh, power? there's lakes and then there's rivers. Okay. Yep. Correct. I do remember, Amish, your cooking does not disappoint. I love that yours looks like a boat with legs. You're a boat with legs. Hey, free stuff. You would. What? Free stuff? What? Oh. You, 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 stuff to you, to yep. Oh, Shane gets all the goodies. There wasn't a good way to, he got to the factory. There wasn't a good way to make that happen from where I was. Well, you chose to take the encounter from me instead of stealing it from Shane. In fairness, while I am probably the only other player equipped to fight you, I would prefer not to. Ah, uh, look at all these fancy things. They're all symbols, though, so I don't. I won't. Tell me what the cards do when I hover over you, damn it! Uh, just match them up with the bottom. Yeah, once you see the cards, that doesn't work. A lot of them are, you get, like, you get a free, or you pay some, like, a military might or a heart to get, um, a, uh, upgrade or, which is the, uh, gears or a mech, or a building, or a, uh, recruit somebody. 
Okay, see, I just had dinner, and that's making me hungry again. I guess this one, I think. Since I don't like... What, what's he doing with all those cards spread out across So, the when you go to the factory for your first time, you get access to an extra action card. So I he's getting a fifth action that he can take. Yeah, I... Oh. I don't know the game well enough for any of this to make sense, because they go really symbol dense on how they set this up. And yeah. This is about I the only one I understand, so that's what I'm going with, even if it's not ideal. If, if two okay. heroes are in the uh, factory at the same time, is that a fight? Yeah. Yeah. So, Shane, that looked like you paid two coins... Well, it, said I, was, it said I was going to get a mech, but I didn't get a mech, so I don't know what's up. It's an action. You have to spend it as an action on your next turn. Oh, gotcha. Because it's giving you a literal fifth choice, which is what makes the factory so strong. Oh, it's cramped there. So, yeah, it's a fast track to building a mech with coins instead of uh, steel. Yeah. I do not like to, where that's now, what are going. These, uh, what are these tunnels that I see? So if you have a worker in a tunnel, uh, or for any unit, basically tunnels are always treated like they're next to each other on the board. All tunnels? All tunnels. Interesting. Yeah. Tunnels are real strong. And the building, you can build one of the buildings, which is a mine which means you can access the tunnels from anywhere in your mines. Mm -hmm. or, so if you're on the mine square, you can access the tunnels from that. But only you. Yeah, mines are private tunnels. Come here, Alrighty, you up to? Get to cooking. That sounds delicious. Oh, hey, you know what I forgot? Green button! Smooth. So does the factory move count as a bottom action, top, or do you use both of them when you use that card? It's either or. You only get one action that turns, but it's an either or. That was a quick turn, hold it. Well, slow it down, we don't need another, uh, Late night call from to hear about from uh, Dennis. What's that he just made? That That's would be a mine. Does it say a lot about the type of friends I hang out with? When you said late night call, my first thought was bail money. <laughs> so he built the mine. What does that do for him again? I can use the mine. As a tunnel for me only. Oh, okay. Because oh, I am I'm so sorry. fucking landlocked, I can't get anywhere. Well, most people only have one way out of their places. I mean, yeah, you're here. standing right in the fucking middle of mine. <laughs> what? I am not. You straight up I... are. I thought I'd read the rules that I built this mech because it was a river walker. Yes. But it can it's only it's cross kind of rivers to certain places. Oh, that's dumb. I, so I got tripped on that earlier. North, why did you... So that he can take his uh, heroes over, too. Because the mech uh, abilities okay, extended you. the hero. But it, yeah, it's not letting me cross any river. 
Uh, you can only cross to certain places. I don't... How do I know which places I can cross to? Otherwise it's useless. Phil, is yours villages and mountains too? No, mine is... Uh, river or farms and tundra. Okay. So in the upper left corner, Callahan, you should see a button that looks like a mech. Yeah. If you click on that and look at your mech abilities, it will tell you which... Forests and mountains. I gotcha. Yep. So you can okay. move across until that, into that forest. No, that ain't gonna do me any good. Alright, let's see here. So... I'm gonna change to oh. here. Oh, I've already selected movement confirmed. There's no undo button, is there? No, I thought I could find. Well, that sucks. Alright, so that's useless. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. I, uh... I like everything I'm just describing except the lima beans. I just never could quite... That's not my jam. Hates lamb, but still went back for a second bowl. Does not compute. No. Oh, there it was. Okay. I don't tell anyone could hate lamb. Lamb is delicious. Lamb's amazing. And they're, so, and they're so much easier to kill than bear. I mean... It's hard to be mad at your food when it's cute and tasty. Do you have to end your turn on a token? What do you mean? I assume so. Or if you just pass through it, you pick it up as a hero. Oh, I, I think you have to end your turn on it. Okay, I'm asking. But I don't, I don't know for certain. You're asking for a friend? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Is that friend someone who's looking at kicking in some soft, defenseless Nord belly? No. <laughs> Why are you guys acting like I'm a bloodthirsty savage that's just going to murder everybody while they sleep? You're a bloodthirsty savage that murders people while they sleep. Not true. I at least wake you up enough to know I'm there. Not very quiet. It is Tagawa's turn. In case that didn't. Oh, no, it did not flash up for me this time for some reason, Sorry. so thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I've heard goat. goat can taste good. Um. but it, it's also like. uh. also, it's kind of. I've been told it's like a milder mutt flavor. Oh, that looked like tarps. So I created the mech with my factory bonus, and then I'm using the other one to move my hero two spaces. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> well, that bear really wants to eat that cow. Well, it looks much more festive than the time I caused an avalanche. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Join afternoon festival with the commoners. Enter a battle of wits and lose on purpose. Drink too much and break the storm house. <laughs> do, do that. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough popularity. <laughs> I would take, just because of who I am, 
even though that's not the most useful of these options, I absolutely would have cut out my own legs to do that, but I'm already so unpopular, I just can't. <laughs> that, that so two bucks for popularity, or two bucks for two power, two popularity. Gee, that's a tough one. Oh, gain two bucks. Now I'll spend the money. As you say, that that's the correct pick there. Yeah, although if I had if I was popular enough to get drunk and lose, I would have done it because that was amazing. Yeah, goat is awesome. I'm especially cheese. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about the creamy texture that I think's delicious. His Mexican warp around too? God, I don't like this. Yeah, this is all of the not good. Who's Mexican warp around? Phil's. Spend a day planting crops at a farm to earn some goodwill. Gain two food and one popularity. That poor bear. That bear does not look happy at all. That bear no, looks... Me. Very <laughs> I'm gonna eat that redhead. <laughs> you won't let me eat the cows. You won't let me eat the sheep. You won't let me eat the people. And then you put a plow on me. Yeah, you got bears right here. Mother Russia, <laughs> bear poop is fertilizer too. That's Yakov Smirnoff, for those of you that aren't familiar or old. Oh. Just. Which I actually would not be against, because that yeah, was such an underrated comedy. What is food for again? Food uh, is what you can use to enlist recruits. Oh, uh, right, right. <laughs> Green button! Sorry. Turn that off, Alex. Never mind. Good job. Okay. Okay, this game is a heck of a lot better against people. I was just walking by. Stop looking at me like food. I have no quarrel with you. I, I kind of want to see that bear attack that monkey with a katana. I mean, I don't, because somehow between all the complaining, he has the most money, the most power, the most combat cards, the most workers, and the most military units. I mean, you're surprised by this? No. No, oh, and look, he gets to load his workers in the mech, unlike some people. That's bullcrap. Who can load his workers in the mech? In theory, everybody, but I have... I was not allowed to my last turn. 
how, how, how? I don't get it. Okay. Max have the ability to carry workers and resources using the transport window that comes up in the lower right. Imagine what a full, like, every faction in use would be like. Uh, a mess would be my guess. strong signal you're sending, sir. Very strong. How can you increase popularity? Um, in the trade option? Oh, I see it, yeah. You give them money, or food. Usually, yeah, okay, money. I am on Discord. Um, you, what am I? Crap, how would I even find that? Uh, I mean, you're on the patrons only one right now because that's the one we use for the stream. Right, but yeah. you have your own. I can add him as a friend. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. I think yours we'll is up. Philip C. Brea. That's what you seem to use everywhere, unless you change yeah. it up for some reason. What is your uh, middle name? Clark. Huh. I have uh, no idea how I have never known that. There's that, too. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, so talk about it then. Okay, what do we have here? Callahan, what'd you do? Produce? I produced. What is the evil Asian Empire doing? I mean... Yeah, it's works. I have a mech again here, and the take for transporting meeples did not come up. So that's disconcerting. It should appear immediately above the resources. Well, I know that from the tutorial, but that's twice it hasn't shown up in the game, which is an issue for me. So, is, is there any way for me to get to the little adventure token on the right? Because it's cut off by rivers. The tile with the f farm has the token. Yeah, you should be able to cross. You said yours was farms and mountains? No, or it's uh, rivers and forests. It's forests and what? Or, uh, forests and mountains, sorry. Yeah, you should be able to cross to the hex to the south. That's a forest. And yeah, the trail. Yeah. on the other side of the river. Right, you can only cross to those two types of tiles. There's a forest literally under you, and then you can go cut up to oh, the north okay. to, and then east I gotcha. to get to your I gotcha. objective. I, gotcha. I mean... That really sounds like both me and you getting locked to the door for sexual harassment. <laughs> Not just you, both of us, because, yeah, that'd get awkward.
Oops. Jesus, so really, Phil? Right? He's warping over to the lower left corner now. Ah, oh, lower left it, Jack. Huh? You know, I've already told Dennis the day I didn't I didn't need my job there, he would know. And that will just be great fun. Yeah, though, it's a pretty sad state of things, which for many people, it's kind of the American dream at this point. Oh, no, I'll just do a bunch of the shit that I've always wanted to do, like spill spaghetti sauce all over the floor and lay down behind my mech, or behind my uh, reach truck. Wait a minute, you have a mech at your warehouse? So yeah. This job does a lot more fun than I previously thought. Right. So just lay down where they can't see me with spaghetti sauce strewn across the aisle and see how long it takes for the code green to get called. Code green. <laughs> when I, uh, I used to work a job out of GMAC Mortgage, they had me working in something called the vault, which was an actual vault where they stored a bunch of their files for their higher price loans and I was sitting there putting stickers on them. I come out of the vault one day and there's no one in the building. Like, it, it's like everyone is just gone and I'm just wandering around going, where the fuck is everyone? And I uh, end up wandering outside and everybody's out there. And they, uh, there was a fire drill. <laughs> and they, they started, they started yelling, like somebody was yelling at me, he's like, You've been in there for over seven minutes! <laughs> yada yada yada, like, this was a drill, you would have been dead. I was like, yeah, there's no alarm in the vault. <laughs> it was like, so... Oh. I didn't hear anything. That's a problem. And, like, and, and they just blinked a few times. I was like, also, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a halon system in there, so... Without the alarm, it would have just evacuated all of the oxygen out of the room, and I would have, you know, died. Died. <laughs> And they, they were like, they were like, well, that can't be right. I was just like, I'm going to go put stickers on folders again for a while. <laughs> I don't know. That almost seems like an opportunity to say, I expect a check in front of me, and I will write the appropriate number on it to make this go away. Because that, that is a valid concern. It was a valid. I don't know. They ended up installing a fire alarm. They didn't know. They're like, there's no fire alarm in the vault. We need to have one in there because we have people that work in there. Yeah, so, that, that's called bringing your facility up to code. Right, yeah, exactly. It was uh, it was one of those things. Callahan's turn. And well, that long. All right, let's see. What to do, what to do. Oh, he's upgrading. You know, this Ooh, board is other people, not me. Hmm. Oh, that? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Concerned. I think made a move. <laughs> Concerned is the answer you were looking for. Was that a bet costing him one iron? Costing me one iron. What was the other? What was the top row one you did? Uh, more speed. I can move three, three people. Oh. Okay. That that's a good one. I thought about bolstering my military power since I need that to make my people produce, but uh, I figured wait for just a little bit. Oh. Why do I get a feeling like this is going to look like we're doing nothing until the very, very end and then it's going to be a run? Because that's precisely <laughs> the direction this game is headed. I mean, Still don't know how to fight. 
move into take one of your plastic bits, so not one of your non one of your mechs or your hero. Uh, and shove it into somebody else's hero or mechs. And a little screen will pop up saying how much do you want to attack with? Oh, okay. You can use one card and up to seven power to punch somebody square in the face. And, unless you're Shane, in which case he can use multiple cards. And uh, then only, oh, no, I can only use multiple cards if I'm like, I'm actually reading about my faction here on the side. The, the mechanics confuse me. And apparently it's a faction intended for professional players who want to challenge because they're going to get steamrolled by everybody else. So, <laughs> yeah, that fucking explains it. Fair enough. In other words, it shouldn't have been in the play for us. Well, so no better for next time. Like if they have unguarded resources? Yeah, uh, if they've got unguarded resources. Or to cut down their power for scoring purposes to grab a territory. Okay. Or to huck them back to their starting zone. So having more territories gets you more points at the end? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. Yep. Um, how can I see how many stars you guys have? Nobody has uh, any. Yeah. So okay. if you, right next to your name, in between your resources and your uh, faction symbol, there's stars. If you click on that, double click on it, it'll pull up everybody's stuff. Ah, next so you, you all have river crossers. That's the one that gets replaced for my faction. I do not. But you don't have, like, you're in the center anyways. I you don't. I could... Go ahead, Callahan. I still don't understand where to go to see people's stars. Nobody has any. At the, has at the any. top of the screen, do you see a little... Uh, do you see how your resources are splayed across the top of the screen and there's a little silver arrow pointing down? Yep. If you click on that, you can see everybody's resources and star count. Nobody Got has it. any stars, so nothing's lit up. Got it. Okay. Uh, oh, this game... Really? I, I'm not going to let you run roughshod over the entire map. No. Really? Hey, bye. Are you for the other one? You're calling me the aggressive asshole, and you just did the aggressive asshole move. It doesn't mean that you're not both right. Not I also needed insane. to come down here to get access to these resources and you decided to wander in. You know, I was coming it sounds, here. It sounds like he's just expanding his territory. Um, you know, like he's just gotta... So, why didn't you cross to the mountain right beside your territory for mountains? I, I wasn't allowed to. I had to use the mine to get out. And the, if you were talking about up to the north, you had your hero parked square in the only place I could go to move. No, I, you I absolutely did. I was in the field. Yeah, that field was the only place I could go to get to where I wanted to go. I should attack Phil. And I don't have to attack Phil. And their power numbers are intentionally handicapped so they can't create as many workers as the other factions. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, so basically I had no chance from the get-go. I'm sorry, Shane. That's why I was wondering why we were doing random. I mean, Quiet, if that had been explained prior, Phil, that would have been a case I would have listened to. Right, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to be gained by doing stuff there. Where can I see, ah, uh, there we go. My special objectives. Oh, how, where did you pick that up? Uh, I went to the south. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. 
you're, can you're get right. both of your can you get both of your special objectives or just one? Only one. Just, unless okay. you're there might be a faction that's allowed to get both, but the Nordics are not that faction. Okay. Uh -huh. Or some special condition, I can't remember what it is, so. Dude, your card with luck. Oh my gosh. And he's got a Warhammer in the background, that's always fun. All right, Braden, you gotta you gotta stop doing things like that. I I don't. Hmm. Yes, Trident, I will be salty. All the salt, all the time. Somebody, sir? Yep. So basically, I'm in an engine building game with a faction that can't build an engine. Sucks to be you. Yeah, it does, pretty much. See them even possibly being decent, and I have a feeling they're only good when you have a full board, too. And say so the traps seem powerful in the right setup, but yeah, that setup I think involves it, having a place where matter. people no can. No one's going for the factory. I can't get to the tunnels to block you all off in time, so you just walk over rivers, so they're useless. Right. Like, the board has to be crowded. To So is this the part where Shane decides to burn it all to the ground? I mean, I can't, because I can't even look at my power numbers. I can't even build up the power to attack you guys. Because they're decapped and building power, so any military confrontation, I'd lose. So I can't even do that. Hmm. I move some stuff.
No trying it. No. Hmm. What's a starburn kill? You'll have to demonstrate. <laughs> I have not Googled it yet, actually. You won't even do that for one of our patrons. He is history's no. greatest monster. I mean, yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, remember the time a patron paid me to kill you and then I killed the hell out of you? That's the yeah. type of service our patrons expect. Indeed. Accurate. I know, Pam. You got a pretty nice beard, too, so... It'd be sad to see you shave that thing again. And weird. It would be weird. It would mess with my universe. Thank you, sir. Shane doesn't get it. He was going to do it anyways. He just got money for it. Which makes it better? Yeah, better. Yes, clearly. And I was still contemplating the money just from a patron just put over the edge. That sounds like a lie. Get coins. Uh, you can either use the action under your move, which lets you gain coins, or you can, or you get them from uh, the recruit. Thank you, Amish. Actually, I did get a point. Yeah, I, I see that you have sixteen military. Yep. Gross. Pretty much. Well, not yeah, if he, he goes under 16 military for some reason, no. does he lose that? You just one, gotta hit it once. You just gotta tag it the one time and then you're good. Come on. Fine, whatever. but it's showing me one and only one option, so I guess I'm making one option. I don't even know what it does, actually. Which way? The mill. Oh, oh the mill there. acts like another worker. But it can't move. It can't move, but it'll produce an extra and resource where you build it. And you don't have to feed it. situation. FYI, if you have a factory car, despite the fact it asks you if you pick the bottom one, whether or not you're going to skip your top move, if you do anything else, it permanently locks you out, so... Yeah. Oh shoot, your hero can't transport peasants, huh? Nope. Hmm. So not intuitively good design in that explanation. Yeah, that was one of my complaints with this, was the tutorial was aggravating. Yeah, that's going to cost I, me the uh, action card. I went to you there. Oh, you son of a bitch. 
talk to Brayden about it. I'm talking to you about it. Can you go across rivers? Nope. Why do you think I'm playing this fun little game? Well, now I'm gonna have to attack you. You gotta get out of my neck of the woods and get back to where you're supposed to be. He's okay. real bad about that. I'm invading Russia. Not the Nordic territories. Eh, it feels like my territory. It's close enough. And Phil's already demonstrated one of the issue designs with my faction. Look at all those traps in a line. Oh, we'll just skip them. Well, okay. Chimera is interesting. I, I definitely want this game just to be able to play with it more. I want you to die. Is that so much to ask? It is. There have been a lot of people asking that for years, Callahan. <laughs> Tragically, yes. Uh, you know, Shane. It's not so much that I want you to die, as much as I want you to be not alive anymore. Okay. Yeah, I had a plan. Did right. you know? I did. How's that going for you? Shade, you know the bad part is I used to think I was bad at uh, games until I started playing against other people and then I'm like, no, I just got introduced to strategy games by people who... A freakishly good group. <laughs> Well, I mean, think about it. I was playing you, Marshall, AJ, and your brother, John. That was, like, the people that I was used to playing board games against as a kid. Question. Why did yeah. I gain money there? Uh, because you probably enlisted the mech. I did. You get money for that? I do. Or you recruited... Did you recruit the little guy with the mech square? Uh, I built another mech. So I got money because you built a mech. Because well, I have a... Did I get money? You... I gained money. You gained two money. Oh, besides the little mech on the bottom, is there two coins? Uh-huh. That's why. Yeah. Oh, okay. I do like an RTS, but I get bored of them kind of easily. So, I'll play them for a bit and then I'm done. But that's kind of me in video games anymore. Oh, because you weren't there for the... Uh, uh, the first half hour when nobody else was. Uh, Shane, you mentioned Command and Conquer getting a reboot? Yes, the original ones, which is exciting. They are redoing it to use modern programming. They got the original music makers and the original um, programmers to do an upgrade to make it work on modern system. So it has the same look and feel, but obviously upgraded to modern graphics and stuff. Which is pretty sweet. True. Is it a Kickstarter, or where can I find that? It's gonna be released on Steam. Oh, so, okay. what you're saying is you're gonna gain one popularity and four medal. Uh, no, I'd be paying two gold for full medal, but... Yeah, I don't... 
I'm not there. Shane got oh, that card. Oh, that's just a trade still. Right no. Then. Yeah, I'm gonna gain two gold and one popularity is what it looks like. No, I used my factory thing to get two movement to steal that before anyone else jumped in. Because it's probably the last bit of cause and problem I can actually do. Sam, that is why I told you. Because I figured you'd want to play Command and Conquer. Yeah, it was so ahead of its time and just such a good effort. I cannot wait to see how they work with it. Plus, I don't remember what the exact system was, because I'm not that tech-bound. I just remember it was so far back in the 90s that, like, you couldn't just port it like a lot of other games. Like, they actually had to remake it to make it playable on modern computers. Oh, dang. The old CDs would not work. Let's make a faction where everyone has to play a certain way for you to have a chance, and you get one move per turn instead of two. What could go wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why do we have a store to kill ourselves? <laughs> that mean the monkey killed himself as well? You know what? He could do his own thing. I like the idea that as everyone brutally curb stomps my head in, that my gift to this battered land are entire hordes of wild rabbit monkeys that for some reason know how to use katanas. <laughs> That's the best gift I could leave living. behind. That is my yeah. gift. That is my plague gift to you all in memory of. <laughs> that is but, terrifying. Oh, it's already out. Oh, that's, yeah, I know it's on the watch list for a few weeks ago, but time has very little meaning to me right now, so, it, yeah, it might have come out. I saw something on it, on about it on Steam the other day, too, and I was like, oh, I remember playing that. Probably will never play it again. Test the coils for my thing in Red Alert. Yeah. I thought would just hear me kind of like giggling to myself. What's so funny? And you just, I just turn on the speaker and you just hear this massive explosions. Came over, he's like, who makes 15 advanced guard towers in a line? Oh. I was like, well, when there's one way into my base, I do. <laughs> wait for the invasion, wait for the invasion, they're all dead. Go send my three grenaders to take care of their base. <laughs> that was the other thing, just dropping troops behind enemy lines when they just aren't looking and just start firing on their buildings. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. That's a mighty fine looking bat. What is that white post just standing there in the village? Uh, it's my armory. Oh, gotcha. What's that let you do? Can we uh, other when, workers here? When I perform the trade action, I get one power for free. the only video games that have kept my attention for any reasonable amount of time anymore has been Stardew Valley and Minecraft. I mean, those are just made for the long term, and I love the fact that both those games were made by an individual designer. Like, I actually yeah. just watched an hour documentary on YouTube on the design of Stardew Valley, and it was really interesting seeing how it morphed from his original ideas to like a more and more clear version of what it is today. Oh, interesting. You might have to uh, shoot that link into hey, video games on Discord. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw chat. Are they making fun of you, Feel? <laughs> yeah. But it's <laughs> 
Just rubbing that salt in pretty good, that's all. All the salt, all the rubbing. Oh, the fact that Phil doesn't know the uh, rhythm method or use condoms or pull out. Yeah, yeah, we, we've made fun of him on all those points. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a procreation joke. This is why I really like Shade. He has no filter whatsoever. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Probably best for me to do that. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, I gotta do that. Very I true, know. Trident. I, I appreciate a game where the person just keeps on making, keeps on making the improvements now for minecraft i'm actually a little disappointed in the way they've been um developing it um so like a lot of the stuff you're just like hey, jesus dog it'd be super easy to uh do this no we can't do that sorry but why not because we're not going to what did the... Oh, I gained some power. Cool. What did so the Nords just do? They did an upgrade to make their upgrades cheaper. The Nords did nothing. Oh. Okay, well then I will, will not bother myself with that anymore. Hmm. Sam, I re Oh no, you won't be GPMing non-con because I'll be non-con tomorrow. It's like, I can place boards in there and just make sure your life is hell tomorrow. But you won't be there, because you did that today. Now I bolstered power, and now I'm looking to Ooh, upgrade. What's supposed to come out in 1.6? Or 1.16? to think about how big of a plan it would have to be for them to be like, you know what's a good idea? Sam and Phil and non-con together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's the one where I'm like, okay, a massive nether update. Woo! Why can't you make clothes out of wool? <laughs> yeah, I, I get why this faction would be fun with a full map. But Brayden can literally just stay on one side of the map and make his army. The Nords can do whatever they want to the north, and then I just, I'm not effective. I think you're, well, Brayden's winning. That's, uh, that's an issue. Oh yeah, he has half of the board with no one to challenge him. Yeah. Yeah, you're not trying to stop me at all, are you, Phil? I didn't go for the one that you can get to easily. Oh, wait a minute. How did you get there? We wait. have been paying attention. He can go to uh, abandoned capitals. Mm-hmm. So he's been no, kind of... He just got to draw another card by sending a mech there. I thought it had to be your hero. No, my hero is in Russia territory. I see that. So why did you get a card? But where I moved had a uh, encounter token. That's why I moved over there. Yeah, mm. we had been told that you had couldn't do that with a with map. Max. You need your hero to unlock it. Right. But my uh, hero yeah. is in Russia, where I picked up the token. Oh, Max. I didn't. Even, I didn't even see that there was one down there. Is up in Albion territory. Dropping where off you've the already claimed it. Yeah. Where I've already claimed one, and Brayden decided he needed to claim one. I'm not going to give you both, especially when my perk rewards me for getting those. No. 
So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. You haven't been in non-con for two weeks? Dang. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm in non-con tomorrow because I haven't been there all week. Sorry, we're talking work. No, you're rude, Phil. I get it. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, the weird thing is, the more I've been in the workforce, as crappy a job as the Handy Mart job was, and, you know, getting a knife pulled on you every semester was a pretty crappy way to make nine ninety an hour. That That's consistently been one of my favorite jobs I've had over the last two decades. And granted, the co-workers are great, which makes a big difference, and there's something about being in your 20s, early 20s and just not caring. But the rest of the workforce is also just that bad and full of BS. Mm-hmm. There's something to be said about, you know, cool, doors locked, mop, floors mopped, everything's cleaned, get the F out, and there is literally nothing to worry about when you go home. You have your whole life to yourself until the next shift. Yep. Yeah. That's why I like working for uh, Target 2. Once you leave, no longer your problem. Okay. So how is the is the overall power your overall power? Like if I had two units attack one military unit, would I still be at a disadvantage or how is that split up? So basically when two units go into combat, you wager up to seven points of your military power, and then you choose whether you want to add a card to that. Max can also augment those abilities through their upgrade paths. Hmm. <laughs> Tried and slapping in production support for IT. March when there was incompetence in management, it was funny because our store managers knew how to run the store. Then the higher ups would say, Hey, we are cutting back on the total hours workers can have because we don't want to pay wages. Inevitably, all the part timers would quit, they'd be short a bunch of shifts, and then they would pay me a buttload of overtime. So incompetence was funny because it made me a lot more money. I'll let the bears frolic together in the snow. They burned it. <laughs> it does make sense. Pay three, two, and list of one recruit. I do want to recruit. Uh... Oh, dang. Yeah, see, I am definitely okay with not having work calling me and saying, we need you to come in. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Look, all I'm saying is for as much as people have laughed to be the past seven years, the more and more the world keeps doing what it does and the more BS these jobs keep getting. Shane's buy some cheap land on a beach in Belize, make a bar and grill on the beautiful beach with apartments overhead. It's looking more and more like a great retirement plan. It really is. Literally, we get 20 years to develop it economically and it's ours. They use the dollar, they speak English. As long as you stay out of the capital, it's safe. world-class medicine that you don't have to pay your arm for. Just saying. Callahan, are you starting Bear Cavalry? No. Yeah, like starting Bear Cavalry. Uh, okay, that's not a wrong answer either, so I do approve of that. That is never the wrong answer. I agree. I, I don't know how to... Do you not have three gold? Well, it's not letting me do what I want to... I mean, I've chosen one thing. Is there a but? Is there a in the lower right? Is there a box for you to pay your three gold? I don't see one. No, it 
subtracted the gold from my... Oh, her. Oh, ex... Uh, let's see here. There we go. And let's see. I believe. Wow. <laughs> Roll up your seats for the common man. I'm so mad. That's way easier than either of the ones I got. I mean, considering my faction, one of them doesn't even make sense. But if you check the bin, then the cup is upside down that she's been fed. Do make sure you hit end of turn. No, 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 I'm still doing okay. stuff. <laughs> Just making sure. How do I know what I can build? I just spent the three lumber, but I don't see what I can build. It's the little icons to the right of each of your actions in the top row. Oh, okay. Man, I would have loved to have that objective. Right? Okay, there's that. Okay. Hmm. Yep, that's not a bad one. Uh, that feels really bad. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure you're a filthy liar. I'm sure you're probably right. Now, can you move more than one back into an opposing player's space? Yeah. And they stack, or...? They don't no. stack. Oh, but I, they might tr do they trigger concurrent encounters if you fend off the first one? I don't think so. I don't actually know the answer to that question. I mean, we would find out, but I don't think so. Star of the game. I hedged my bets. Oh, you completed your objective? Yep. Nice. What to do? Had one upgrade, one of every resource, one building, one recruit, and one mech. Which I have to say, for a faction that limits the amount of workers you can have, is an infuriatingly hard thing to pull <laughs> off. Uh, agreed. That's real dumb. And that was the easiest of my two. Ugh. I mentioned how much I dislike this faction. Like, if it was a full board, I could see how they'd be a lot of fun. They'd be a great troublemaking faction. But, like, I've never seen a game where no one gave a crap about the factory or the tunnels, and you guys can just ignore everywhere where the traps might do something for me. So, well, I'm so I am just the underdeveloped faction who can't make the workers, can't get the resources, can't upgrade at the same speed. Hmm. Which is not a great combination. I will be right back. Callahan, I may have to attack you just out of anger. Plus, you're the only person I might be able to punch who won't destroy me. 
Eh. I don't know. I think you should attack Phil. I literally can't attack Phil or Graydon. Why not? Because we can hit back and then come after him. Because just by all the complaining from that side of the table, it's the perfect setup for a lower player game. Just they have engines going, so they have literally three times the power I can, I have. And once again, half these mech upgrades only work if it's a busy board. Stepping away for a sec. All right. Did Braden just do? I mean, he kept the unstoppable engine going. Pretty much, unless all of us declare war on him now, he's going to steamroll us, and even if we yeah. do, he will probably win. Yeah, I'm a little worried. If you want to give it a shot, I'm game. Phil, well, that's kind of my. Next go round. Sorry, I'm actually trying to play this better than I did last night, where I just kind of punched a bunch of buttons and didn't work out so well. I mean, the, the trouble with not having this a full game is Braden builds uh, yeah, his war machine. And he had an entire half a map to go unchallenged. So, yeah. realistically, we never had a chance because of who he started out as. Did you already brush your teeth? If you eat that, you have to brush them again. <laughs> Sorry, Callahan, I'm laughing at the kid. It's awesome. Did you hear what he said? No, I didn't. So, he took one of my peanut butter pretzels and, uh... I'm back. I said, uh... Hey, did you already brush your teeth? If you... Yeah. Well, you I heard that you have to brush again. And he goes, I just want to lick it. And he started to lick it all the salt. <laughs> the salt I, I completely feel your pain on that one. Cause that's my kids right there. Why not? We get curb stomped anyway, so might as well cause a little bit of mischief. Good. Good. I respect that move. Yes, children are great fun. No, I have the resources to do a bottom move. Why don't you lift up? They're right there. Oh, fine. I don't get to do my bottom move. Green's back? Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Yay, I get to see combat. 
Yeah, that's a decision you've chosen to make. Yep. Dude, you're winning the game if we don't all try to stop you right now. It's not gonna go well for us, but you know it's the right strategic move. Holy moly. So does he spend all of that power, or how does that Yeah, happen? we both spent yeah. it. I spent a bunch to make sure that he actually spent. Yep. Wow. Battles are expensive. They can be, yeah. Even if you win. I'm not overly appreciative of how that went, but there isn't really anything I can do about it. So he killed... He sent your guy back, and then he gets your resources, right? Yep. Well, okay. no, the resources are just on the territory, unless you move them. But if you move again, you can take them with you. Right. Sorry, Sam, you gotta keep all your assholes. Hand, you have three max now? Uh, I stopped counting. <laughs> yes. yes. Three. Listen, I do. It sucks that they capped me at four. I have not seen pictures, so I do not know, nor do I want pictures of Sam. having a higher population do for you, you can control more territories basically yeah right? yeah you can yep. control more territory and getting all eight of your workers will give you a star right go oh. No, you you have no one to blame for that but yourself. <laughs> and there with like you're meaning to start some shit. Now it's over to Callahan. Yeah, it looks like I got the resource building thing down now. Yeah, I got it. That is the advantage of zerging when you don't know what else to do. Yeah. Man, I wish I knew which board you guys... Can I see what board you guys actually have? I've not figured out a way to ascertain that yet. See what? What do you mean by board? Well, like, I have the agricultural board, so my actions set up is different than your guys's. Actually, you can. If you click on the player icons in the lower right, you can see them. Oh. Okay, well, that got me the... No. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, yes, it does. Ooh. I don't think that militant went well with your... Oh, Shane, you're the Toka one. You can move across the river only one max character or mech per turn, but you can, you're free to move across however you want, where we're restricted to certain types. Once I undo that mech, yeah, but I had to undo another one to set my traps. Yeah. Night, Amish. Have a good night. Night. Good night, Amish. Take it easy. Doing. Um, I just don't get why they won't let me do that bottom action there. Because that's twice in a row I could have done a second thing. I don't know why, but YouTube has been, um, I have to watch why I hum, because you, I have all these catchy tunes in my head that, you know, copyright infringement and all. <laughs> but YouTube, YouTube has been putting up a lot of those old 90s songs where you don't care if you don't hear them for 10 years. Once you hear them, they're kind of catchy in your head again. Oh, okay. I have been listening to a stupid amount of, like, jazz, uh... Electro swing jazz, video game remix jazz type. So, oh, okay. Hey, Bray, or actually, Shane, what are you playing Saturday morning? Uh, kindergarten. We're gonna murder children. Oh, okay. <laughs> Small ones. And try not to get murdered by the janitor and principal again. Okay. Well, in fairness, I also murdered the janitor back once, so... I did see that part. It was funny. Yeah, I think the first reaction was seeing, uh... Brian's brother, who teaches, was not prepared for that game. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much of it did you figure out before you had to end stream last week? Uh, very little. It uh, has a surprising depth to it. We did finish one character's um, arc, which is how we managed to murder the janitor. Oh, okay. Wow. And so there's a bunch of them where you like you have to complete multiple missions to get special items and money before you can finish a different way. Yeah. Also, my best run, I managed to murder three kids. Was that the teacher? Yep. Okay, I was there for that too. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Making job easier, one at a time. As you do. Hmm. Will they actually let me do two actions this time, or are they going to be jerks about it again? I have a suspicion they're going to be jerks. Shake, what are you doing with 18 gold? <laughs> I don't have 18 gold, that's Brayden. Brayden has 18 gold. 
What are you doing with 18 gold? Stockpiling for the end of the game? Pretty much. Gold is worth points? That's kind of how the final score goes out. So, if you, in the upper left hand corner, there's a little podium with the one, two, three. It'll explain the breakdown. In which corner? Upper left hand corner. There's the star. And then there's the podium. Okay. If I you see. That up, that'll show you how the point will break out at the end of the game. Are these multipliers or? The, yeah, well, your popularity obviously. triggers multipliers. Let me upgrade when I have the. It's under your move. Man, I like to do the use the oil to upgrade, but because I have four freaking barrels of oil, but apparently I can't. Okay, whatever. I'll just do one turn per round then, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> so that's not going to come back to haunt me. Exactly, Trident. We got to get you them gold stars. Stop on I don't feel like that's necessary. Mm. Might be funny though. <laughs> I'm also far better armed than you. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I could still soften, yeah. No. Passing through. <laughs> yeah, I straight up don't buy that. <laughs> it's the easiest way to the factory for me. Actually, right now, it's the only way to the factory for me. Monday. Uh, I'm probably going to play Lufia 2. It's a old school RPG on the SNES and actually was one of the, the earliest to introduce a bunch of concepts that you'll find in a lot of RPGs today. Ooh, such as? Uh, it uses the uh, IP system, so basically a precursor to the limit break. Okay. And it also has a fully functional dungeon crawl feature where you can where it basically starts your party at level one and you wander through looking for treasures and spells to see how far you can get and you're allowed to take certain tre types of treasure you find in their back on subsequent runs to make it a little easier okay that sounds fun 
I am excited to give that a spin again because it's been many years since I've played it. Yeah, I never actually heard of that one, so I'm interested to see it. Well, and it came out in 96, so it was at the very tail end uh, of the SNES era. Plus, you know, oh, and I didn't get SNES to college, so I didn't even get one till 98. But yeah. Plus, you know, Dungeon Kong's probably a bit more wholesome than murdering a bunch of small kids. But I like the games I like. I mean, that's fair. Plus, that bully had it coming. Probably. I love the fact that you found how you found all this stuff out too. It's like, well, that didn't work. Let's try this. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try this. Yep. Oh, if we do that, we get murdered. Okay, let's not do that next time. Yeah. Don't go to the principal's office. Yeah, describing that game is like it's like super homicidal preschool meets Bill Murray's Groundhog Day. Yeah. Yeah. Trident has already convinced me that once I'm through with this, I'm going to buy the sequel. Give what that a run through. Called? Kindergarten 2. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're super creative. Dungeon well, Crawling does well, not give you gold stars, but it does give you treasure, Trident. That's like that gold well. stars. And it gives you friendship, which is its own type of treasure. I don't know what Callahan's planning up there, but I'm concerned. I didn't do anything. Carry on. Yeah, uh huh. I don't get how you all keep getting so many coins. I rushed to the recruit option that gave me coins from my neighbors performing actions early. Ah, so it's one of those where knowing the game, game came in handy. Hmm. I would move out of the way and see that spot to Callahan, but I can't, so I really I I don't wanna go through. I'm kinda of hoping you can move, but um, uh, I have Callahan. to wait I have to wait another turn, but then I'll gladly step aside for you. Callahan, I think you're gonna go through the lake. Uh no, they cannot yet. Uh, that's another mech that I have to build yet. Yeah, oh, I, will, okay. I will get all the way next turn, then you can go wherever you want. And a reminder. Yes, I'm going to skip my top row action because apparently, if I take a top row action, you skip my bottom row action. So, what do I freaking care? Get stuck with one action either way. see what combat cards you have or lower right by your uh the end turn uh -huh. two three four five and then to the left of it in yellow numbers how many of those you have with that i gonna say being restricted to oh. one thing per turn okay. is really really difficult to keep up with everyone i believe that So the five cards are very rare. Um, I guess not fours, threes, and twos are the most common. Okay. Oil, huh? I don't like the cut of your jib, sir. I 
really don't like the cut of Brayton's ship. Those multi actions must be nice. <laughs> it, it is convenient. Oh, what a stupidly designed faction. Oh. I agree. There should be an option to remove them from the rotation. That that one specific hey, faction. Hey, how do you compete with Brayden, who's making a machine? You can't, because you're too slow to get to the good cards, you're too slow to get to the good things, and then you only get half the turns. I don't understand why you're getting only half the turns. You're doing because according to this, I should be able to have a top and bottom, but it grays out everything. And yes, I have checked the I have checked to make sure before the turn I had the ability to do more than one thing. Ah, there's your last one. Okay, move out of the way for Callahan, because I promised him I'd do that. And then Oh look, it says I can do two lower actions. It'll cancel those after I move. I assume he wants the factory, so I'll come over here. And that's a good jump. You can go there. Well, that one can jump from one specific type of space I have to another. I can uh, one more unit, huh? Well, I don't need more villagers, so you can attack Phil. There. Give it. And I'm not allowed to use the resources I have for some reason, so we'll just end the turn. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, in about two turns, I am just gonna start going ballistic because being this handicapped, I just wanna cause chaos at this point, so apologies ahead, Thomas, I piss everyone off. Oh, but that was pretty brutal. Oof. <laughs> Damn. What now? Phil triggered a trap and it slammed his uh, popularity down. That those traps are bullshit. I'm glad I gave them a wide berth. So you left a trap for me and the other one too, didn't you? Well, had Is Phil that... had Phil just waited a turn, yes, you would have gone right through him, wondering what was going. on. <laughs> Is, Is have... that what those little gear icons are? I mean, you can. They're the little purple things. The the one at the factory is now spent until I reset it. Jesus. But I would have to attack <laughs> Phil. Each of them do a different thing, too. I will point out, Phil is also in a very strong board position. You I do not. I mean, technically you're correct... As you're in the lead for stars, workers, military power, coins, popularity, and cards. That's kind of a tough style there, Braden. I mean, that's fine. When everyone overcommits to dealing with me and Phil runs roughshod over everybody with his ability to warp over the entire map, don't come crying to me. Yeah, I'll we know that. Don't anybody, hey, please. <laughs> I love how we pick games that it's like Oh, how did I get a second star? You built all your... Looks like you built all your mechs. Yes, yeah. I do I do feel like I am the... Uh, for at least the... Lower multiplayer game, I do feel like I am the Xanathar version in this game. Now, I fully see with the traps and stuff, if we had every position filled, this would be a really interesting faction to play, because the traps could do way more damage and cause way more chaos. But without that, the lack of turns, I can't keep up with everyone. 
Hmm. I mean, the first time I go to battle of any kind, I'm going to be open for everybody to raid all their war points off of me. Well, I've already got mine chained, so you're safe. Yeah, this is this is becoming a brutal punch out. Man, you got a lot of mechs in your one square there, Brayden. I know. Um, you want to get bent? Ah. Want to get away from my territory? I'm content to stay exactly where I am if you're willing to play nice. That sounds really fun. How many zombies yeah, do you have, Metaclaw? I don't think I want you produced it for Royal a turn. I think he's, at this point, spreading out all his workers as best he can. Yeah, um, plus I I'm, see I'm, that. I'm sure a number of territories is part of the scoring at the end as well. Yep, it is, in fact. Let's see. Where was I right? I assume you cannot do more than one battle a turn. Mm, I don't believe you can, but I don't know that for sure. I mean, I... If you, you might be Bill, able to do it in Bill, different squares. Bill, get off the factory so I can reset that trap. <laughs> I well, I can't this turn, but I'm working on it. Okay, that's fair. I just wanted to see one trap go off. I'm content to get my head smashed in at this point. It was an ugly hey, trap too. That was brutal, sir. There were nastier ones. Oh, really? I believe you. Come on, Brayden. Come way over here. Help my treasury. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I forget how great of a game this actually is. The couple of playthroughs I got. Yeah. It's almost one where you want a banker as well, just to keep track of the board. Accurate. Dang it, I am hum humming copyright songs again. I need to stop that. They actually let me take a second turn for once. Huh. That they... was infuriating. They won't let me do that the other times, but you know. Um, since the question was asked, if mm -hmm. you take multiple mechs or heroes into combat, mm -hmm. what that allows is you to use more than one. You get to use one combat card per character or mech in combat. Gotcha. So you could really stack it up if you wanted to. Gotcha. Yeah, if you wanted to. So, sorry, I just saw that and figured I would say that. Uh, I wonder how that would work mechanically on here if they allow you to do that or they cut you off after your first movement. That doesn't do any good. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's my turn. It's fine. It's oh, actually Phil's. I'll be right back, everybody. Fair enough.
So, Matt you're still here. Is, uh, Cobalt streaming the D&D game you're in? It's a good question. Is that be a video I go check out? That was an entertaining turn. Mm-hmm. Look at us, we have an economy, we can all make money. <laughs> ah. Well, it just set me up for what I'm, uh... I got set up nicely for some rounds. It's a lot of oil, sir. Awesome, though. Uh, awesome is a relative term. Yeah, awesome is fairly relative. If you're in Shane's shoes, yeah, that trap was amazing. I mean, what else am I going to do? I can't boost my popularity. I can't make a lot of coins. Most of the turns, they only let me do one action. <laughs> no, so, that, that tracks. I'm trapped. Oh, no, you're good, but... Yeah, I'm not just... Oh, mm -hmm. I like how Brayden's got 39 minutes, almost 40 minutes left. Oh, Shane's I'll hand stuff there. back soon, because... Oh, right. He stepped away. Yep. I mean, you can't uh, step away for ten minutes. That's on him at that point. Yeah. Well, I, I'm just laughing because you guys, like, he's, you and him are pretty close in time, and then I'm still up there, like, I just passed that hour left line. I mean, you're probably the most familiar with this game out of all of us. I played the tutorial and a singular practice game before stream. Yeah. I played... I didn't even do the tutorial. I just played a quick game, and uh, then I played a game against Heather, and I played a game against you guys, and that's all I've played this game. So I do not overthink it. Sorry about that. I hope it wasn't no. too long. No, you're good. Did I miss anything interesting? Uh, Raiden's dying? No. Just dying? You recovered your attack in two turns. Nope. Nothing really. Oh, what song did you find that's been stuck in your head? Who, me? No, Trident. Uh. Yes, do tell. Share with the class. And she keeps with the suspense. I, uh... <laughs> I accept this master class in trolling. I mean, she is related. Whoa. Ooh, what that was, was that one? Oh, that was minus two military. No, that was negative three, I thought it was. Is it three? It might have been three, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's a minus four still out there. Guess which of the two it is. <laughs> like I said, in a full map, this group would be awesome. But since they can't ramp up like you guys, they really need those traps to be a consistent part of the game. Now I feel ya. Callahan, I will be out of your way. 
in just a second. I oh, did you notice that I was surrounding that location? Oh, I didn't <laughs> want to. Like, I'm just trying to leave at this point. Good with it. Like, I, I got in and it did what I needed to do, so I'm going to go. <laughs> nice seeing ya. Good, glad you're doing well. I didn't park my car here. <laughs> oh, jeez. And you got, what, three of the buildings up now? Yeah. I, I did a bunch of upgrades, which makes it really cheap for me to make mechs and buildings then. Okay. And, and other stuff now, so... Yes, I, I hate those songs that just get, yeah, played to death on the radio. <laughs> mm. It's not strategically a smart move, but it would be kind of funny. Please don't. We'll save that for next turn. Our next <laughs> two turns from now. We'll do the one that really pisses someone off now, and we'll do the funny one in two turns. Oh, wait. He cannot move that way. He can only move that way. He can move... Ah, that's unfortunate. So maybe we'll go with the funny one, then. Please tell me you're not going to attack me to reset the trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phil, I can't, I can't lie to you. <laughs> Jesus. Well, okay, then. There's doings a transpiring. I mean... So I, I don't get to say how much I'm putting into the attack? You should. There's a little slider across the bottom. Ah, gotcha. And that. then don't forget to click on the card section in the lower left if you're going to use cards. So he can't move it to X? Dane, I'm throwing you a softball. Don't waste <laughs> shit. Yeah, you can move well, two mechs. You get to spend you get to spend an extra card per extra mech in there. That was I what we found out. I will punish Phil for his insolence. Oh, no, I'm going away. I was just say, Phil is already being punished. That actually, in a roundabout way, helps. I wonder if I can reset the trap the same turn. Because that'd be funny, especially ahead of Callahan. H how does that punish Phil? I get a victory point and beat him up. And his guy goes back to his home base. Okay, and we will do that. And come on, can I do this bottom one? Come on! Oh look, they finally let me use that bottom one I had the resources for for five freaking turns! I'm not better. I think you got a card if you lost. Oh, okay. You have to put at least one point in to get that card, Phil. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mister, I'm a throw. Hard, I'm a throw shade of softball. Don't compete against this. I mean, fairness, I did put in a little bit because I don't want to completely throw it. I don't think that's fair. But let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll do that. No, you kind of got the shaft by the random uh, assignment, so. Yeah, there, there is zero arguing that. Don't worry, Callahan. I'll get out of the factory next turn for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. You know what the trap already does. No, it's minus four something. Oh, no. Factory is minus two.
It makes you feel better, kind of, had I known how the traps worked early on, I would have spread them out a little bit more off your border, since, you know, obviously putting them between the two powerhouses would have made more sense. Of course, since I moved slower than every other faction... Hmm. I don't want you upgrading anything ever again. You understand? <laughs> Listen. That, that seems Rude. like a reasonable assumption. Hmm. Oh, Viva La Vida. Yeah, that's a really good song. I actually play that quite a bit. because they went fancy with the language on the title. Yeah, the one I had in my head from the 90s especially that bugged me because I don't know when I ever listened to it or what would have triggered it. Um, can't remember how to say your name. Is it Dido or Dido? No clue. Thank you. From like the late 90s, it was like this weirdly soft rock song that got used with an Eminem song a couple years later. Not the kind of thing that makes sense to randomly jump back into my head after, you know, almost 20 years, but here we are. Okay. Also found out Chumbawamba switched to folk music, and they're really, really good at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's if you ever heard of one. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, the YouTube it, algorithm is a going. weird and terrifying <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I haven't right. heard of them in a while. <laughs> it's, it's your trap there, Phil. Or it's Shane. Okay, yep. Well, I will move for you next turn. I could call a little bit more mischief. Yes, I can. Well, it'll really destroy me, but you know, what else have I got to do? Okay, which one of these hops from place to place? I, think it's, I can't tell which mech is which. That, that's actually kind of problematic for what I want to do. Can't they all jump from place to place? No, one of mine, its special ability is to jump from a tra one place and set a trap to another. Really? Yep. That's the only one that can arm the traps. I don't want to pull that one. But, I can't tell them apart, so... I thought they were... can all do it. No, yeah, just one. What's the... Only to one. To Togawa... Must be weird. That's gotta yeah, be what it that, is. That, that's that's why I'm telling you this was not this was not a great one. Okay. I do vaguely actually remember that being the case. I'm awesome. sure Shane's recommended feed is quite genius. It is insane. Yeah, it was like Chumba Wumba, and then it was like a folk music. Well. The thing is, it was just playing, so I heard this great folk music, like snapping fingers, kind of Mexican folk song rhythm, great fo soft vocals, like, this is great, look, Chumbawambos, what the hell about Mexican revolutionary getting shot? It's, 
it's in the playlist now. So we'll do this. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's what you were coming for. I mean, come on, let's get rolling. Oh, shoot, that's right, I do have that special ability. Yes, we will I, use it. You face I the road I, I will use that ability. And then I will throw away my game because it's funny. I mean, I'm not amused, but okay. <laughs> ah, I thought you'd actually fight back. Why would I bother? Ties go to the attacker. You could out. You could have out hit me, even with the bow bombs. <laughs> so basically. Yeah, but the problem is, I have all of you breathing down my neck. I have to be judicious in how I spend my bow. And he, he had already gotten his upgrade off, so. Well, I was going to do that previous turn, but it wouldn't let me, so that's why I uh, went after Phil. And I'll get out of your way in the factory next turn, though I see by your four mechs making a line this direction, you are probably just going to go through me for the easy star, which I cannot blame you. Yep. Wait, I lost, popula I lost popularity for winning a battle? What the hell? Yeah, when you defeat uh, enemy troops, you lose popularity. Oh. Uh, workers. Workers. When you send workers back to their home base, you lose popularity. Okay. So if my multiplier is zero, does that mean my score is zero? Your multiplier won't ever be zero. Even if you have zero popularity. But sometimes it's required. It's those three stars are gonna make it look like I was competitive. <laughs> so I mean, fair, it, tried it, tried it. In fairness, well, I guess Phil was my neighbor, even though I beat him up halfway across the map. Raiden is not my neighbor, so I was beating up on strangers, like you know. Yeah, so Aga, what does? He's attacking back? Yep. Oh, yeah, because I used all my power, so now he gets the easy star. Oh, right. Since he has so many cards, he can literally do like a zero plus three cards and just go through me. So he doesn't even have to invest. Yeah, that, uh, those three stars, it's kind of like getting over that five points, getting to six points, like, hey, look, I made an effort in uh, a good town. It was also an easy star, which was the primary reason I, I went for it. I like that you didn't just give all that up. <laughs> you threw one at it. I'd appreciate that. Mm -hmm. 
I pronounced it. That is a lot I, of I mean, I'm just trying to hurry up the game. It's 940. We figured out from who I got, I had no chance from the beginning, no matter how the game played out, so... No offense, I'm just going for throwing the wrench in. There's no point in continuing to build a war machine when you can already go over everyone. Push for the end game, all. I am working on it. So I choose all of my movements before... Before yeah. the fight takes place. If you bring the Correct. second mech, you won't set off the trap a second time, but then you can use more cards if you have them. But I don't really need to. I mean, you don't have any real power left. You got a little, but... I mean, maybe try that, but you have to be kind of a jerk to backstab your friends. It, it's a little bit less worse if you just be up a stranger, right? A stranger <laughs> might have been a bad person, maybe. There's at least that chance. Select your unit, click on target hex. You know, now playing the second game. This user interface is getting much better. How do, how do I use one of my combat cards? You'll get the option to do that when the screen comes up. They're on the left side of the pop-up window. Left side of the pop-up window. There we go. Took me a moment to find them, too. Oh my god! You threw everything at it? Okay. Yeah! I'm causing this chip! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll gain more points for it, so three I, stars is the I'm most I can last place. <laughs> you actually can get two stars from battles. I can, but I already beat two people. Oh, That's well That's how bad. I have three stars. Remember, fair I beat up enough. Phil too. I was fair for all the complaining, I beat up Phil too. But that's oh, great. I thought you were going to be civil because of... Hey, Cobalt Cultist, raiding! Why it was funny when I wasn't. What? We got raided by Cobalt Cultist with a party of six. Amazing. Welcome, welcome, Woo! welcome, all. I am watching the world burn. It's hilarious. Actually, yes. Really, Callahan, you did not think I would be vindictive? <laughs> you, you thought I would play by gentleman's rules? Oh, that's adorable. Wait. Wait, what do you mean by vindictive? I hadn't done anything to you. <laughs> I mean, I'm vindictive at the whole board. That's fair, Madclaw. Like, I got the group who's only playable when every position's used. Every position's not used. Therefore, I am going to cause as much trouble for as many people as possible. I mean, it's a very simple system. So what was the game du jour, Cobalt Cultist? Were you streaming D&D or were you playing something else? Fifth edition D and D, marvelous. Nice. I approve of that. That's really weird. Ah, there we go. Lord of the Dragon Queen. Ooh. Oh. Oh Jesus! I forgot about that. I could just go back and arm the trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's delightful. Oh, so happy. Okay, apparently I can do nothing on the bottom according to this, which actually checks out, so... There we go. It's my turn, huh? Yeah, Mac, I can imagine it's be weird being on the other side of the coming in. Order of the Dragon Queen. That's different than the one about doing a heist and, and uh... Why am I blanking on the city? I even see a water deep, correct? 
Uh, which heist are you referencing? I think there's just a recent heist of Waterdeep Type 1 that came out. Correct, hmm. okay. Ooh, Tiamat. I have played in some good Tiamat-based campaigns. Ah, this time you do, you were prepared for my BS. <laughs> of curiosity, why would you reject a combat card for losing? I genuinely don't know. Like, you can be denied them if there aren't any left in the deck, but that's honestly the extent of it. Sorry, I did not hit the green button. Jeez, feel. It's all right. I go. I got a feeling Brayden's got me by a landslide, but I'm very curious to know how this is going to shake out. Right, he does. He had a whole side of the board to build his engine. that no the green button hasn't been that bad because it's a oh you want to do this confirm that you did that so it's always a uh, making sure you hit i don't button. see how the green button flummox you guys so much look at the bottom right is there a green button push it the problem that flummoxed us with it is that you'd push it and then it would demand you push it one to three more times <laughs> i mean push it till it goes away that, that stupid UI. I mean... <laughs> uh, oh, man. It's, it's your turn, Shane, if you didn't. Yeah, I, I'm looking at it. See? Trident gets it. No. You need to repeatedly press it. Like the time I accidentally sent like 20 emails to uh, all of Coat College for Ultimate Frisbee. I actually got one hell of a player out of it too. By like, telling me I can do this. <laughs> But then you won't let me do this. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Back to one movement a turn. Oh, I mean, granted, it's a cheap UI, but it's not that hard to click on the green glowing button. Go ahead. Yeah, I got a whole lot of shit for doing that, too, from everywhere. Because, for some reason, everybody at college knew who I was. Because you look like Jesus. It's why everybody knew who I was. I was 18 years old with a giant bushy beard, and I wore shorts and t-shirts in winter. Yep. You were kind of identifiable there, Phil. You know what the bad part is? Nobody knew my real name. Like the first two years of Co. Besides a very few people. Do you know how many people who I know their life stories, I know what their dreams were, I know all the uh... stuff, but they're either bro, dude, or guy, friend? Because, you know, when you see the really big guy with the giant Alaska beard at like 19, they just need to hear my name once and they knew exactly who I was. I just wanted one more turn to go skip it down at stealing all of Shane's resources. Is that so much to ask? Yeah. Yes, Brayden, you weren't a threat at all. We so crushed you. 
I never once said I wasn't a threat. I just said I wasn't the only threat. You were the only threat. You two to one us, buddy. It wasn't even close. And we did yeah. come at you as a group, but it didn't matter. 87 yeah, to was not... Yeah, unless, yeah. unless you have a filled out game, Togawa is terrible. I did better than I thought I would have did. I, I did, uh, I made a mistake getting my, uh, too many people too quickly. I should have focused on the upgrades, I think. If you like what you just saw, please support us by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more great gaming content.